Alex Antiquari here to bring you another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a skybox to your crisis map. But as you see, crisis is not up because I've been getting a lot of questions lately and um, people don't know where the crisis editor actually is. So let's go ahead and start there. If you go to my computer, your main disk, and then over to program files, and then down to EA Games, I mean not EA Games, Electronic Arts, Crisis, and then um, if you're on a Windows 32-bit system, go to Bin32 if you want to, and if you're on a Windows, not 32-bit, if you're on a Windows 64-bit, go to Bin64, I'm on a 64-bit computer at the moment, so I'm going to go there, and you see Editor, click that, Enter, and voila. And uh, by the way, I don't even know if I told you or not, but this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add a skybox to your wonderful map in a moment. There's only 15 more days left on this trial period of this wonderful, wonderful screen recorder. I must say the quality is amazing. I've been getting a lot of good feedback. Alright, so you're going to open up your map. Right now mine's called Xanthicory because this is the map I've been playing with every day. This is what I do over spring break because I'm bored. Open up that map. Welcome to Xanthicory's island. Okay, as you see here we have an island and we look up at the sky and hmm, there is no sky. So that leaves us a little bit of a problem. We need a sky. So if you go over to view and you uh, show roll up bar with your full screen you'll be able to see it. But uh, it's right here. If you go over to this terrain part, it's the thing that's like grass. You go over to environment, material, uh, over here to search. And um, in materials, you're going to click on materials, and then there'll be sky right here up in this little tab. Press that and select the one you want. Uh, I've been using rain lately just because I'm emo. I'm just kidding. Ah, uh, but I don't know. Night overcast. It's just whatever. I'm going to use rain just because I said it. Then you go back over here after you clicked on the rain part and you press this little arrow, and you now have rain. Congratulations, you've just added a skybox to your map. You must feel wonderful. Oh, and there was this, aha, I remember the other question. Um, one guy was wondering, well, I have this island of grass, how do I add other textures? Well, you'll see that in the next tutorial. Look for uh, tutorial number five. I'll be doing that here in about three minutes. What a nice skybox, eh? Anyway, uh, that was the Choir, and now I'm signing out. Thank you for watching once again.